There is confusion when getting to the train station looking for the right platform to board the Hogwarts Express is no different from the confusion of Iranian citizens when getting to the train station this last July, seeing this sign. Long delays due to cyber attacks. More information, 64411, this number being the telephone number of Iran's Supreme Leader's office. Checkpoint research were the ones to solve this mystery and identify the threat actors behind this attack. To recap the story, on July, a wiper was installed on Iran's railway and the Ministry of Roads and Urbanization, effectively wiping all machines and preventing access to them. One of the coolest things about this wiper, in my opinion, is that it actually skipped some very specific machines, those in charge of displaying information on screens in the train stations. This way, they could show the aforementioned messages and create confusion and panic in the crowd. Less than a week later, the tools used in this attack were analyzed by Iranian security company Amen Pardaz. Checkpoint research went over the report and started hunting for similar tools used elsewhere. And indeed, we were able to find a few similar samples uploaded to VirusTotal from Syria throughout 2020. The configurations of the Syrian samples had the names of the companies they were targeting, Katergi Group and its related company Arfada Petroleum. Both companies are located in Syria, but are said to be involved in the Iranian regime's oil smuggling network. So, who is behind these attacks? Looking at the Syrian samples, we found the string Indra, which is the Hindu god of war. We then found the images left by the attackers on the screens of their Syrian victims, and they too mentioned Indra. And as it turns out, a hacking group called Indra has social media accounts where it claims responsibility for several cyber attacks against Syrian companies supporting the Iranian Quds forces, involved in money transfers, petrol smuggling and airways, some under US Treasury sanctions. The conclusion is that the Indra group, who attacked Syrian targets helping Iran spread the revolution, now also attacked Iranian critical infrastructure, encouraging Iranian citizens to blame the government. Several things are in common between the attacks in Syria and in Iran. All are directed against Iranian-related targets, all use similar wiper tools, and none of them tries to be stealthy, but rather leave their mark. So who is Indra? We can't really know for sure. It could be a cover for a nation-state group, but it could also very well be an Iranian opposition group operating from within.